Uh, this is what the Shih Tzu looked like when Londonderry police found it. Veterinarians say the neglect caused the dog to go deaf and blind. They cleaned the animal up and this is what it looks like now. Ray Brewer joins us live in the studio to explain how officers found this neglected pet. Ray. Sean, officers tell us it was a tip from the landlord that led them to the apartment where they found the abandoned dog. They say the dog was so sick, its fur so matted, they couldn't even see its face. This is the most severe one that I've seen, and speaking to other officers that have been here a while, this is the most severe one they've seen as well. London Dairy Detective Chris Olson has been in law enforcement for nine years, but says he's never seen an animal cruelty case this bad. He says a Rockingham Road landlord called police around 9.30 Monday night, saying their tenants, 36-year-old Jada DeMoss and 30-year-old Jennifer Moscardini, had abandoned their apartment and left their two- to three-year-old Shih Tzu behind. Officers entered the apartment and they say they were greeted by a horrible smell. They found fleas, filth, and a barely recognizable dog bumping into walls and trying to eat small objects on the floor. The fur on the dog's feet or in, in paw area was actually lifted up and, and pulled into its claws and wrapped around so it couldn't even walk on its paws. It was walking on basically its bones. The dog was rushed to Southern New Hampshire Veterinary Hospital where it was diagnosed with several conditions, including an ulcerated and infected skin mass on its forehead, dislocated kneecaps, and a lame hind leg. Vets say the dog scratched its eyes and had severe ear infections, causing it to go blind and deaf. Detective Olson says the Shih Tzu may have been left alone for weeks. He says after he called DeMoss and Moscardini Thursday afternoon, the women turned themselves in. They're now facing charges, including cruelty to animals. If you can't take care of your animal, you're not capable of taking care of your animal. There's plenty of foster homes and shelters that would love to take that animal off your hands. Now, right now, both women being held on $2,000 cash bail apiece pending their arraignment later this morning. In the studio, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.